My name is Lieutenant Commander Kyle Adonio from uh, PFA 27 with the United States Navy. I'm uh, Lieutenant Andy Cole, uh, also United States Navy from BFA 27. We're both stationed out of uh, NCSU Acuni. It's part of GAG 5, the uh, Navy's only forward deployed uh, aircraft uh, air, air, air wing. Uh, we deploy aboard the uh, USS Ronald Reagan out of Yokosuka, Japan. Uh, we've been flying the Super Hornet uh, for combined probably almost uh, 20 years. 25 years. 20 years. Uh, so, there. pretty, pretty, uh, pretty deep breadth of experience uh, flying the Super Hornet. Uh, I've got nearly, I think, somewhere around 800 traps. But we got just short of 300. 300. Uh, mostly in the uh, Pacific AOR. Uh, I have a little bit of experience in uh, Fifth Fleet uh, from my first deployment, uh, and then exclusively in the uh, Pacific. Um, from a perspective, the Super Hornet is an incredibly capable aircraft. It's, uh, it, in the course of my career, I've seen it get some significant upgrades and changes as they continue to develop it, and I think that's one of the biggest uh, advantages of it, uh, is that it's, it's upgradable in a significant way. And also, it's just an incredibly versatile airplane, so you can have off the carrier, you know, off the flight deck, one launch, and then full air to air, so we're going out on the street. It's kind of loud. We go down to, like, defend uh, the air strike group and then come back to land and quite whenever we'll change rules to an air to surface mindset and go out on some sort of strike or close air support. That kind of versatility is something that I think is rare in the modern fighter. It's definitely a unique aircraft in the sense that uh, I think from its you know aerodynamic properties, um, you know it, it doesn't have maybe the same uh, the statistics or numbers that some of the other aircraft you might see out there, but it has its own strengths and weaknesses that are uh, very unique that make it a match for any uh, any aircraft I've ever been up against. You know, it, it's an incredibly capable airplane. Like that, I'm not worried. I wouldn't be worried about going to face any other airplane I could find out there. If I'm in an F-18. It's it's a fun airport. Fun airplane to fly. It's a lot of fun to fly. It's incredibly capable. So, anything uh, else you'd like to add? What's that? Anything else you'd like to add about your operations, Afghanistan? Uh, uh, that's going to be all. I don't have anything else about Afghanistan. No, I would say certainly, you know, being out in the Pacific, we do a lot of uh, blue water operations, uh, and you know, it is a dependable platform. It gets you airborne. It's uh, and in for in terms of recovery aboard the ship in bad weather, it's definitely uh, with the flight controls and the way it operates and, and, and lands safely. And it's uh, you know, purpose built, designed for carrier operations. So it's uh, certainly a certainly an advantage when it comes to operating in a blue water environment. And then it, it's built for blue water environment, so it's incredibly reliable. Like you can, there's no issue. You know, you walk on a flight, like, oh, am I going to have a jet today or not? Like, you know, you're flying through the Hornets, you're going to be able to go fly and come back, land, and give that jet to someone else, and then go fly and rapidly thereafter. And then, I uh, think, lastly, it's you know, the multi role aspect of it. It's capable, equally capable in the air to air, air to ground, uh, maritime environments. Uh, so, from a, certainly from a carrier aviation perspective, having, you know, a certain number of strike fighters, you keep having multiple different airframes, uh, it allows you to. To, 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 to tailor your strike packages is appropriate uh, based on. You can fill all the holes in one airframe.